These have some, some pretty cool features, both for, for eSports gamers, um, where you can really up the quality of the gaming experience on a pretty reasonable budget, you know, the, the kind of 110, 140 bucks uh, card, um, right up to high-end gaming where we're serious about a, a full-on gaming experience um, and where we deliver, for example, a, a great smooth experience through FreeSync, um, where there's no tearing, no stuttering in the monitor. Everything's, everything's smooth the way it should be. Yeah, and as someone who works in, you know, web TV, I mean, tearing's such a pain in the ass to deal with. And I mean, also, VR is another huge problem that... It's, it's a really big deal for us, yeah. Yeah, I mean, how do you tackle that, especially given the fact that it's not quite clear where VR fits into the ecosystem yet? Yeah, VR's, VR's a very interesting challenge. It, it breaks down into to two separate areas of problem, I think, that need to be addressed. Yeah. One is you need an awful lot of horsepower for a great VR experience. You can deliver a hmm VR experience without so much, but that isn't our aspiration. <laughs> yeah, we're not into hmm stuff. <coughs> um, if you want a great VR